welcome back to The Secret Life of Parkinson's. I'm your host, Jessica Krauser, and I'm here with Brian Baker. How are you, Jess? I'm great, Brian. How are you? Great. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you my sweatshirt. It's my it's my kid's school. It's called Liberty Warriors. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. I haven't made any inappropriate comments about it today either, so. Oh, yeah, because my sweatshirts usually make you look think of Christmas. No, I didn't Now it's that. blue. But you know why I wanted to wear Warriors besides is the fact of my daughter has a basketball game? Why? Because we are meeting a ninja warrior today. A real ninja warrior? A real ninja warrior. Today we are joined by Jimmy Choi, American Ninja Warrior Parkinson's uh, advocate. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hey, hi, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, Jimmy and I had the privilege of meeting each other earlier this year at a uh, uh, Team Fox MVP uh, award thing. I can't think of the words Thank right you. away. Sorry. Yeah. But I know you Brian. Said it, you said it right. I, I'm like, yeah, I'm halfway there. <laughs> um, but Brian, you didn't get a chance to meet Jimmy. So Brian, meet Jimmy. Jimmy, meet Brian. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> I've seen, some uh -oh. of your, I've seen some of your Ninja Warrior stuff. We've, I've actually seen a lot of your things. So just to give a quick a quick background, um, Jimmy, you were diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 27, correct? That's correct. In 2003. Um, 2003, almost 20 years ago. Wow. How are you feeling? Um, old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, because because in, in, in about a year, my Parkinson's will, you know, will be 21 years old and it's legally capable to drink on its own. Ah. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel great. Um, you know, I've got I, I've got two wonderful children, my, my my wife who loves me and supports me. And, uh, you know, that's 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 all I can ask for. Nothing I can nothing I can ask for more at this moment. Yeah, you do have a cool wife. I got to meet her. She was she was very nice. Um, on top of all of the, uh, the length of time that you've had PD, you've done a lot because of it. So, um, Brian, I don't know if you know this, but Jimmy has ran over 100 half marathons, uh, over 15 or just 15 marathons, an ultra marathon marathon, which I don't know what that is. What it's is like that? It's a hundred miles, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's a 50 miler. 50 miler. Jeez. Yeah, anything over anything over a marathon is an ultra marathon because there are fifty k's, which is only you know only right only thirty something miles. Um, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, but my, the one particular one I did was a fifty miler. Wow! And then you've also done Spartan races, and then oh yeah, in twenty seventeen you participated in American Ninja Warrior. So uh, our warrior for the day. Yeah, yeah. How was it? And, was that uh, was that was it fun? Was it scary or? Well, the first year was scary as all hell. Uh, I'll be honest with you. And so, in 2017, I, when I stepped on that stage, I had no idea what I got myself into because, um, you know, I, I I was dared into that situation by my daughter. Oh no um, way! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. She was like, you know, every, every year she watches the show and she begs me to to go apply <laughs> and to get on. And I'm like, are you kidding me? A guy with Parkinson's, you need balance, you need upper body strength. At that time, I was only running right so i had no upper body strength i'm like it's asking me to do things that i can't do and then you know you know how american ninja warrior shares all these inspirational stories of yeah. of people overcoming their their situations and one day you know she, we were watching it and then there's story after story of people just just doing incredible things and she's like what's your excuse really <laughs> she called me <laughs> out hardcore i love she it she called me out she was 10 years old at this time remember <laughs> so it completely called me out and she was like She's like, what's, what's your excuse? And then just to shut her up, I said, you know what? I, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll apply and see what happens. Like thinking they're never going to call me because they're not going to call, you know, a, a, a you know, a 40 something year old dad bod or whatever um, <laughs> to do it. Um, and then, but lo and behold, they, they, they did. And I actually had only five weeks to prepare for that first year. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah, so it was it was it was very frightening and, and getting up there. I had no idea what I got, what I got myself into, um, but you know what? It got easier as year two and three and four went on, and then it got, and then it also got. Uh, How many times do you was do that? It? Uh, five years. I've been on the last five seasons. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that's I impressive. That uh, that's really impressive. I just complain about going work out all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, well, last year, though, being it, it, it is my last year. Uh, last year was my last year. Is that does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. I think. Uh, but yeah, you know, I just uh, it's it's time to step away just because I like I said, I was one of the older competitors uh, in all five years that I've competed. I've always been one of the older competitors on mm. the show. Um, and then, you know, I really, really felt like it was time to, to step away when the younger competitors came up to me last year and said, Mr. Troy, first of all, they call me Mr. Troy. Oh. Mr. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's great. We've watched you over the years. It's great to meet you. Um, and then this next line is really what got me is they said, you know, hey, can you talk to my dad? Because <laughs> I think you're older than him and I want him to do this. And, and you know, I'm like, you're yes, like, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's time. <laughs> the last one, though, you did. Your daughter was with you, right? Did she do it with that you? Yeah, so that, the last one she did with me, um, and it was great, it, it, you know, to have her, to have her on the, yeah. you know, uh, competing with me together. It's, um, it was. There's no better way to go out. For That's me. very cool. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, so the reason why we wanted to have you on, besides you know talking about all the amazing exercise things and advocacy that you provide to the Parkinson's community, is um, we're in the month of November. And you are, uh, you've created a Movember for PD, and it is, uh, it's a fundraiser that you have right now through Team Fox, and mm -hmm. um, and something that you're sharing on on a daily basis. So I just wanted to ask you a little bit about that, um, and you know, when did you start it, and what is it? Yeah, so Movember for PD started uh, during the pandemic. Um, so when all the gyms were shut down. Mm -hmm. um, we all, all of a sudden, all these Team Fox live events just canceled and canceled and canceled. And fundraising essentially halted to a stop, right? Um, so my wife and I wanted to find a way to keep the community engaged and more importantly, keep people moving because we knew access to gyms and access to uh, to personal uh, training or equipment has is not now out of the question. Some mm -hmm. people have to find ways to move at home. So that's kind of that's when we started. It was actually in in in, in 2020. Um, so and in that month, it was it it was in November, and we decided we called it uh, Movember Planksgiving uh, uh, edition. So <laughs> everything we were doing was related to planks, right? And then because it's November, obviously the whole Thanksgiving play. Um, so you know, just for fun, we're like, hey, you know what? We're just gonna I'm gonna challenge everybody to a different style of plank every day. So I came up every day I came up with a new plank, a new style of plank that I would hold for one minute. And I would challenge people to do it. And these are all done on things that you can find at home. Right. I think so, we did it. I think Melissa yes, made but, us do it at the gym. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I started, you know, challenging people to do, you know, planks on, you know, with their legs on their on their couch and their and their arms on a coffee table, for example, right? Um, and then I started going. I climbed onto walls and, and have a full extended plank where my body, my feet is on one side of the wall, my arms on the other. I started having my kids jump on me, um, oh dogs, you know, whatever it was. I, I think I did a plank frying an egg, and then on Thanksgiving I carved an entire turkey while in a plank position. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna you know, have to go back and look at some of these videos. <laughs> you, you're really, they were a lot of fun. And so, you know, I, I challenged people and then people started tagging me as they were doing these in their homes. Mm -hmm. Right. And the feedback was, this is great because, you know, it gives me something to look for every day and it gives me uh, something to do to keep to, to stay active. And then a lot of people are realizing just how weak their core was their core was mm -hmm. right and I, i've always said that the, the center of all movement is core balance mm -hmm. strength um everything is centered around the core um so that's why i challenged and that's how it all got started and then you know and then i encourage people hey you know what if you want to donate a couple bucks donate a couple bucks right um let's because of the pandemic everything is shut down let's keep things going let's stay active and let's let's keep raising a few dollars here and there so that we can keep research going mm -hmm. um and then it, it so that was year one and then this, the, the next year in, in 2021, we were still in, you know, pandemic-ish. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were still at home. A lot of people still didn't have access to to their gyms uh, and their equipment. So I, we continued. But this time we pushed, we challenged people to do either burpees or, or push-ups or more planks. Um, and again, every day I came up with a new challenge and, and asked people to do it. And it just, it just took off um, last year. It really took off. Uh, I encouraged gyms that were open to join and uh, to get their people involved. Mostly uh, gyms that were 
um, you know, working with people with Parkinson's right. like the rock steady gym, right? Um, and, and, you know, who knew just, just doing stuff online trying to get everybody uh, involved and, and allowing more importantly, now this is the, the, the side effect of all this that came out of it was, which is, which is what I love the most is that now we've got all these people sharing their stories yeah. about Parkinson's, how they live with Parkinson's, how exercise is helping them, uh, how important it is and how during the pandemic, when everybody was locked out, they felt like they took a step back, but now they're back you know, um, and all these online resources that are available are helping them stay involved, mm. stay moving, moving. Um, and, you know, and then lo and behold, you know, we raised $88,000 last year. So, yeah. so far combined, we've raised more than $100,000 just doing these silly challenges online. That's awesome. So this year, this year we brought it back and, you know, we're doing the alphabet challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we feature a mover of feature mover today, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, you were a feature mover of the day, and the feature mover of the day has a a word or a saying um, that means something to their journey or something to, to them. Uh, and then, however that word is spelled, however that phrase is spelled, there's an there, there's an exercise associated to each letter, and that would be the workout of the day and the challenge of the day for people who wants to get oh, involved. Oh, I don't think I knew that extra spin. So, because mine mine was <laughs> I did a phrase. Mine was uh, working on me. Um, yeah, and, taking and, time and that to, was yeah. that was perfect, right? That was perfect. Taking time to work on you, right, was perfect because if you go back and read some of the comments either on Facebook or on Instagram, um, you know, people are saying that how important that is because you do need to work on yourself, um, and 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 to take a step back and be selfish a little bit, right? Because mm -hmm. I will tell you that all of my accomplishments um, in the last twelve years, so. Just to really back up real quick, 20 years I've been diagnosed-ish. The first eight years I spent in isolation and in denial. Mm -hmm. I did absolutely nothing for Parkinson's or myself. But then out of the selfish, you know, self, uh, um, uh, the, 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 I, I call it the selfish mindset, mm -hmm. something developed out of it. And then here we are today. Because if, let's think about it. Everything that I was doing, exercise, it was all for me. What can I do? to make myself better, right? What can I do to, to make myself better? And then just that somewhere along the line, someone stuck a camera in my face. And uh, and I realized that what I'm doing for myself can also help others. And that's kind of how all this stuff took off. I think the other thing that's really important that you kind of touched on, but I want to elaborate a little bit more on is, um, you know, what you've been doing with Movember 4PD is you've raised over $100,000 and you're looking to raise even more just out of these, you know, exercises. But um, while you're getting stories from individuals, you're getting people to reach out to one another and share their stories and have conversations. So aside from just the Facebook comments and things like that, that people may have seen, I received personal messages from um, at least four or five individuals, like just letting me know their story, which was very similar to mine. And that's a lot of times why they, they'll reach out because it's like, oh, it sounds just like me. Um, and then we've gone back and forth and a couple of people, you know, I've invited just to let's reach out via email or connect over the phone and, and it just makes people feel not alone. So, you know, even, you know, for all the other ones, individuals that you've invited to do a word of the day, I'm sure they're seeing the same type of uh, reaction, which is great from, you know, growing the PD community. Yeah. And, and that's what we need because, you know, there's, there, there's uh, PD is such a hush, hush disease, right? Uh -huh. uh, you know, I always say for every one of me, for every one of you, for every one of Bill Buckley or around the mm -hmm. folds or, or, you know, all these guys out there, all these people out there that are, that are being public. Um, there's, there's literally 30 to 40 or even more people who are sitting at home being quiet and isolated. Yeah. Right. So our voice, we need to project our voices for them mm -hmm. in, in the hopes that they come out. And, uh, you know, doing this, I always say to people, you know, people are tired of hearing about the Jimmy Choi story. Who cares? Um, Jimmy Choi wants to hear about your story. And this is one another reason why, you know, we started featuring movers last year as well, um, you know, as, so that other people would come in. We would show their challenges mm -hmm. um, or show them taking on these challenges. And we're doing it again this year. We're going to have... Uh, there's quite a few more movers that you haven't seen yet, but, um, you know, and, and they're not all people with Parkinson's. There are people that are, you know, that may be a care partner or people that, um, you know, may be just associated, you know, with friends and, and they just want to be a part of it. 
Um, but the underlying, uh, underlying um, share of everybody sharing is is really that it's, it's their stories of why. Why am mm-hmm. I doing this? Um, and I, I think that's really important. Where can people find the word of the day or be able to follow Movember? Movember. So uh, if you go on Team Fox um, mm-hmm. or just Google search Movember for PD, mm-hmm. um, you sh- and it should be one of the first things that show up on on, on a Google search. Um, but it's it's uh, it's fundraise.michaeljfox.org/slash Movember. M O V E M B E R. The number four mm-hmm. PD. Mm-hmm. That is the entire uh, um, web address. Um, but you can you can go there. You can create your own your own profile. You can create your team. You can join the team. You can donate. Um, and you can look at the entire list of all the exercises yeah. and all of the move all the day uh, all the words of the day up to this point. What, what's your favorite word of the day so far? Uh, you know what? My favorite word of the day came up yesterday, um, <laughs> but not a lot of people have shared that sentiment. Although they say, "Jimmy, I don't hate you." This is the the the, the overall census of yesterday's word is, <laughs> "Jimmy, we don't hate you, but we don't like you very much right now." <laughs> so. <laughs> The word of the day yesterday was bubble burst. And I oh, and I encourage people to talk about their bubble their bubble bursting moments. It's moments and you know when they went in expecting something glorious or something positive to happen, but their bubbles were burst and something negative happened instead. But at the end of the day, we all learn something from situations like that. Yeah. Right. Um, so I talked about my bubble burst moment. It was really the day I was diagnosed. I went into my doctor's after months and months of of, um, uh, of other appointments. And, I, you know, the Parkinson's was the furthest thing from my mind. But, you know, when I was told that, Jimmy, you have Parkinson's, I, I just felt like my entire uh, insides all just combusted and exploded mm-hmm. at the same time. So that was my bubble bursting moment. But the reason why that word is, is, is hated uh, when people look at the list of exercises, the letter B stands for burpees. Yeah, so right. that's, oh, yeah. That we don't, we don't like them here in Columbus either. Yeah. <laughs> and then the letter U stands for ultra burpees, which is a, a, a leveled up version of burpees. I don't even want Don't uh, tell me. Yeah, what, don't, don't tell, tell what sure Melissa is. Melissa, doesn't, Melissa hopefully is not <laughs> she's, No, she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> so, so B-U-B-B-L-E-B-U-R-S-T. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yeah. That is uh, a lot of a lot of burpees. So 60 burpees in all in yesterday's word. Yeah. Um, and of course, I did it because I wanted to challenge people. And of course, people know that because I, I hold a world record for burpees, a Guinness world record for that. burpees. And um, push-ups. And push-ups. Right. So, I, you know, it, it just wouldn't be I couldn't go a whole month without doing something like that. You know, what's your bubble burst ding moment? Um, I don't know. I get, and I feel like so naive because like I wasn't really that upset when I got diagnosed because I don't, I, I didn't know what I was diagnosed with, I guess, mm-hmm. you know, even though I knew mm-hmm. I had it, I didn't know, I didn't know what it was, you know? Right. So. Yeah. So just remember though, I was 27 years old, right? I had my entire life yeah. planned out. Uh, my wife and I were, we were going to travel, you know, we were going to start our family. We were going to, you know, we had everything planned out. Um, and then all of a sudden everything changed. Life yeah, so took a detour. That's the bubble bursting part of it is when everything changed. Yeah. It was not a roadblock. It, it was, was not a road, detour. Yeah. That's another yeah. podcast that we did. <laughs> um, anything else that you'd like to share about Movember or Parkinson's in general? Well, you know, it's it, it's it, it's things like this, uh, you know, doing doing little things that some might look at as silly or um, or playful or fun. But uh, I just want people to know that, you know, doing little things like this, these are the little things that matter because, you know, um, we're, 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 yes, we're having fun, but at the end of the day, we're still challenging ourselves. We're moving. Um, and we're raising a few dollars that, you know, 100% of that is going to go directly to research. So, you know, uh, don't think that a $5 donation means little because at the end of the day, uh, when the day comes and we were and we are told that there is a disease disease modifying treatment or a cure, mm-hmm. um, that five dollars was a part of that. So that you've made a difference regardless of how Absolutely. big the little donation is made, right? right. And at the same time, uh, all of us who are living with Parkinson's, we're doing everything that we can to to make our bodies stronger so that we can um, uh, live you know, live as well as we possibly mm-hmm. can so that whenever this treatment comes, right, it could be five years from now, it could be 15 years from now, it could be 20 years from now, we are preserving our body's 
to the best of our abilities so that once this treatment comes, we are in the best possible position to accept that treatment, whatever that might be, right? Uh, um, so, you know, just doing little things every day. Uh, you may not think it's 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 nothing and, and, and it's silly to do just 10 sit-ups, right? Or, or you know, 10 squats or in, in yesterday's case, 60 burpees. Uh, <laughs> you might think it's silly, but at the end of the day, when it, it all adds up and it's all, it's, it's making... As you know, some part of you is making some part of you stronger and better and, and preparing yourself for the future. Yep. Well, okay. thank you so much for coming on. We we really appreciate having you. Um, and we'll be share we'll be sure to post uh, the information as to where people can find more information on Movember um, for PD. Uh, and uh, look forward to seeing all the different words of the <laughs> month coming out. So thank you again so much. Um, in our last 30 seconds, I'll leave you with this. Everybody with Parkinson's needs to continue to move. Moving is what keeps us going, will keep us uh, motivated, but also keep us in a position where we're ready to hopefully accept a cure one day, that our bodies are gonna be in the position that they need to be in. So um, I encourage everybody to move every day. Um, check out Jimmy's uh, website, check out the Instagram or Facebook post to see what movement you can do today in November. But don't just leave it for the month of November. Make sure you keep moving every single day. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.